Burns Day. Well, it's been nearly a week since the first congressional district Republican runoff, and the drama continues. Yeah, these signs have been popping up all around Mobile saying boycott burn after conceding in the race last week. Dean said he would not congratulate Bradley Byrne or vote for him. Local 15's Madupe Dowu joins us now. Madupe, Young denies any involvement with these signs. He does, Kim. He told me today he had absolutely nothing to do with them. I did have a chance to speak with Byrne today, and he says the signs are meaningless, and he's focused on the prize, which is the general election. Boycott Byrne. That's the new message posted along the causeway and near I-10. And we have a huge, huge victory tonight. Despite Bradley Byrne's victory over Dean Young, political drama ensues. I caught up with Byrne to get his reaction. There are a few people doing that, but the vast, vast, vast majority of Republicans are coming together, working with us. So who put out the signs? I have no idea, and it really doesn't matter. I called Dean Young. He claims he has no clue. There are no names or groups listed. However, the bright yellow sign reads, Don't Tread on Me, with a rattlesnake ready to strike, something typically associated with the Tea Party. Pete Ream, president of the Common Sense Campaign, told me the local Tea Party chapter didn't post them either. Uh, we've heard from a large number of Tea Party members, people who are part of the Tea Party movement, who are coming to help us. Many say the signs point out to a growing rift amongst the Republican Party. Disgruntled Tea Partiers posted on Facebook that they'd rather vote for Democratic candidate LaFleur. There might be some people trying to sell that, but it's not working down here. We're going to have a very united Republican Party on December 17th. One thing drivers can't see is this. It reads, if you have damaged or stolen this sign, you are dishonest like Bradley Byrne. So far, no one's owned up to posting these signs. Now, Kim and Greg, we checked the areas where the signs were posted just a few hours ago, and while no one has come forward, it appears some of the signs have been taken down around the city. Kim? Madupe, thanks.